Hi. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a multi-tenant application using c .NET 5 and SQL Server. Here in the app settings I have added a section named Tenants, and there are sites under it. Each site contains its name, logo file, and connection string. No changes to the program class file. Here I define the tenant settings class with the site's property and the tenant data class to hold each site. I have configured the tenant settings class here to get initialized on start. And adding a scope tenant service. Tenant service is asking for tenant settings instance and HTTP context accessor. If the request contains a cookie named tenant code, collect the site's tenant data and keep track of it. In the startup class we initialize the application DB context without a connection string. In the application DB context, we are asking for the tenant service instance as a constructor parameter. And then initialize the connection string for the site. If the connection string isn't null, we proceed and initialize the application DB context. In the startup class we are configured to manage identity over the default provider but with our application DB context instance. In that way, we manage site-wise user accounts. In the home controller, I'm asking for a logger instance, tenant settings, and the tenant service. In the index, we show all available sites. If the request is already initialized for a site, then send the site's data to index view. If the site is selected, show the logout option. Else let the user choose a site. Again in the home controller, we have two more actions. Add a tenant code cookie to the request based on the user selection. Remove the tenant code cookie based on the user's request. In the app settings, I have added two sites. Let's create databases for each of them. There are a bunch of ways to do it. For the time being, I'll copy the connection string to the application DB context and execute the update migration command in the NuGet package manager. Copying the first connection string, assigning it to the connection string variable. Commenting parameterized constructor, so we will not initialize connection string again. Execute update migration command. Doing the same thing for the other site. Here we have two databases, and here are the tables of them. Let's run and see. Here we see two sites, it's because we aren't selected a site yet. Let's select site 1. Here we see the logout site option. I'm registering as a abc at mailinator.com. Confirming email address. Login as abc at mailinator.com. In incognito mode I'm opening the app again. Choosing site Z registering as xyz at mailinator.com. Confirming email address. Login as xyz at mailinator.com. Let's see how it has stored. Opening site 1 database and users table. Here we have abc at mailinator.com user record. Opening site Z database and users table. Here we have XYZ at mailinator.com user record. Thanks for watching. GitHub repository link is in the video description. To learn more tutorials like this, hit a like button and subscribe the channel.